Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> You know, this would be funny, but at this point, it's just sad. It's sad to see what Lucasfilm has become as a company over the past 10 years, and now it's worse than I imagined. Another Lucasfilm movie that has been in the works for at least three years is no longer happening, at least under Lucasfilm. Before we get into that, please leave a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel. So thankfully, this isn't a Star Wars related movie, but it does carry the same pattern of canceled Star Wars projects and the overall issue over there at Lucasfilm. In 2018, a young adult novel called Children of Blood and Bones released and it did really well in sales. And it then caught the steam to become a movie in 2019. It even caught the eye of Kathleen Kennedy and they wanted to pick up a movie and make it. And the attached director at the time before um, Lucasfilm picked it up was Rick Famuyiwa, who directed three of my favorite episodes of The Mandalorian in both seasons one and two. I think he's a great director from what I've seen so far. So this would be a great move to have him involved with the project but even after announcing this project don't forget as recently as 2020 when they had the big disney presentation investors day thing lucasfilm literally announced this movie they were like hey you know this is another movie we're doing it lucasfilm has just lost this movie Yes, it, like, they're not doing this movie anymore. This was planned to be a trilogy of films, but according to The Hollywood Reporter, Lucasfilm just let the movie sit on the shelf until someone else was able to pick up the rights. They literally like waited out the contract. Paramount is picking up this movie, and according to the same source of The Hollywood Reporter, the author of the series was getting frustrated with the slow pace that Lucasfilm had on making the project, and the author even offered to write the script of the movie that is based on her novel. And Lucasfilm said, no thank you. And funny enough, there was a big bidding war on this movie from Amazon, Netflix, and in the end, Paramount won by giving the author creative freedom that she wanted all along, along with a theatrical release and a very nice payday for it too. That is wild to me. I'm sorry, it is really crazy to see Lucasfilm refuse the creator of a story to tell their own story. I mean, to, to me, this is literally like if J.K. Rowling was like, hey, you know, you guys need help making these Harry Potter movies? I can write it. You know, I wrote the books. And then being like, no, you can't. I'm sorry. You don't know anything about Harry Potter. It's also really crazy that just as recently as November of 2020, Lucasfilm said, hey, this is the movie that we're going to make, and they, you don't do it. You like just simply don't do it at all. It's wild that you cannot trust any Lucasfilm announcement these days because they hardly ever come to fruition now. And it makes it hard to have faith in this company right now when everything just seems to be a, a cluttered mess. I, I mean, this is all just sad. The report said that Lucasfilm wanted to move away from the movie in order to focus on its original IPs like Willow, Indiana Jones, and of course, Star Wars. Well, you know, that's, that's great and all, but considering Indiana Jones 5 has been delayed and has had multiple writer or director changes for the past what, 10 years? And the Star Wars franchise has had five director switches and multiple project cancellations or delays. I'm not really sure what canceling is really going to do since you really didn't do anything with it in the first place. I mean, you didn't do anything with this movie while all this bullshit was going on. And so now you're telling me you continuing to not do anything with this movie is going to allow you to focus on other movies. When you, like, literally picked this up in 2018 to do this like or 2019 you picked this up to, to make this movie now two or three years later you're like oh i don't have the time for it. like why would you pick it up in the first place you just wasted like two or three years of that author's time for no reason and it was just as recently as 2018 lucasfilm had to cancel or postpone multiple star wars projects and spin-off movies because solo lost 50 million in the box office and do you guys remember the rumors that, like, one of the movies was going to be about the Moss Eisley Cantina or something like that? Well, you know what? Whatever happened to that? I mean, there's so many projects nowadays. What happened to Lucasfilm is the better question. A company that was founded by George Lucas, who prided himself of being against the Hollywood studio system, where the big presidents and executives told the artists what to do, even though it wasn't their story. Sound familiar? Lucas and Francis Ford Coppola founded Zoetrope a little bit before he founded um, Lucasfilm. 
And Zoetrope was supposed to be an independent production company for artists just like that, and Lucasfilm was the successor to that by giving a new wave of technology to the film industry that anybody could use. It doesn't matter if you're big studio production or you were indie production. And it's really sad to see what this company has become now. It's a studio that constantly has issues with creative differences, but mainly with the directors and writers. But it really is just an issue of creative freedom. It's not creative differences. No, it's an issue of creative of freedom. Don't forget the same day, I, I, I shit you not, the same day that they announced they were still doing this movie, Children of Blood and Bone, in 2020, in November, the same day they announced that they were doing another Star Wars movie called Rogue Squadron, releasing in December 2023. Literally a little over a year later, both of those movies have been delayed. One of them being Lucasfilm uh, having creative differences with Patty Jenkins and delayed the movie indefinitely. We don't even know if the movie's coming out, when it would come out. And in this case, in this case with the Children of Blood and Bone, they won't even let the author write the script to her own story. Wild to me that you don't trust this woman with her own story. I mean, this is just heartbreaking at this point. Colin Trevorrow, Lord and Miller from Solo, Star Wars Story, David Benioff and Dan Weiss, Patty Jenkins, and now this movie. All of them had hashtag creative differences with Lucasfilm. Hell, they even had creative differences with George Lucas on his sequel trilogy, Story Treatments. When does it end? When will Lucasfilm realize they need to have faith in the storyteller and take risk with them? Let them tell their story and let us, the audience, be the judges on how it goes. You may be surprised which ones we like. At this point, Lucasfilm is a shell, a husk of the company that it once was under the creation of George Lucas. And even as time went on, Lucas was not running the company in the best practices either. And it just seems like Kathleen Kennedy and the other executives over there at Lucasfilm, and maybe even Disney, are just kind of scared to really bank on anybody at Lucasfilm. It's not like, you know, you look at Marvel and you have countless directors who work with them and everything. Lucasfilm's not really like that, you know? Lucasfilm's very selective on the stories and the movies and the people they put their faith in. And I imagine because of the result of the sequel trilogy and all the creative issues that they've had with other directors and storytellers, they don't really know who ha who to have faith with anymore. Like, they're scared to put their faith in anybody nowadays. And it has basically taken all faith away from Lucasfilm as a company for us, the audience, for us, the fans. I don't have faith that Lucasfilm can make the best decisions for anything now. I don't think they can make the best decisions for Star Wars. I don't think they can make the best decisions for people that we like, like Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni, or just multiple creators, clearly like the author of the series, who was quite literally screwed over by Lucasfilm. I mean, do you understand how fucked up this is to get this lady and say, yeah, we're going to do a movie based off of your book, three of them, minus that, you know, we're going to do a trilogy, and not only are we not going to let you write the script, we're not going to give you the creative freedom that you need, and then Paramount, a far bigger company, a far more corrupt company than Lucasfilm, comes in and is like, oh yeah, you can you can write it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give, you a, give you a nice fat paycheck to write it, and uh, we'll even release it in theaters as well. They literally gave everything the author was asking for, because they have faith in her, and if the movie sucks, who are we going to blame? Not Paramount. No, we're going to blame the author. But Lucasfilm thinks that, oh, if we if we tell her how to do the story right, if we take charge, then th we know better than she does. I'm sorry, it's her story. It is her story. It's not yours. Kathleen Kennedy didn't write this story up. So why is Kathleen Kennedy not only saying, I want this movie, and then get, getting rid of it three years later? Because y'all couldn't come to a deal with the author. Don't pick it up in the first place. You wasted that woman's life. You wasted three years of her life for absolutely no reason. You frustrated her to the point where she even offered to write the story for you, and you still wouldn't comply. That is awful. That is extremely inconsiderate of her time and any fan base that the series has or could have because you've now wasted three years of their life and maybe no one's really interested in this anymore. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Lucasfilm losing another movie? And this time, it's for worse things than what they've done with Star Wars. They won't even let the author of the story write her own movies. It's just incredibly disheartening really hard to have faith in Lucasfilm to make any good choices these days, but I do have faith in you guys. Do leave a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for more news about Lucasfilm and, of course, Star Wars. Until next time, my friends, may the Force be with you, always.